Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are just joining me for the first time, then hello and welcome to my video. So for today, we are doing actually my first makeup products I ever purchased or ever wore. What I used to wear when I very first got into makeup, these are products that I only knew about that I thought were the greatest thing ever and yeah I got this video idea from my friend hashtag fab life here on YouTube if you guys haven't checked her out I will link her down below I thought this was a super fun video idea and I wanted to do it here on my channel just because I thought it was super fun and I would also like to know some of your guys's products that you first started using when you first got into makeup it's just kind of fun to kind of see what everyone else is up to so uh yeah let's get started with today's video <laughs> I think I'm gonna start like in the order that I would typically do my makeup now and I'll tell you guys of what I did back then. So when I say back then, I started wearing makeup about the age of 16, I would say, like typically daily. Um, I would hear kind of play mess around when I was a little bit younger, but about 16 is when I actually started wearing it consistently. Um, and I'm gonna share with you guys the products that I used. I would say I honestly didn't get into wearing makeup daily, like I had to wear it every single day until I was about 18, 17, 18. That's when I first started like, I wouldn't leave the house without makeup. Now I feel like I'm way more comfortable leaving the house without makeup than I've ever been. Um, but in the beginning, I feel like you're just kind of like, ah, I can't not wear makeup. Okay, so starting out with primer, I actually didn't start wearing primer um, until recently, a couple years ago, I'd actually never even really heard of it. I didn't know what primer was. I didn't really start watching YouTube until um, really these last few years and when I really started getting into makeup, that's when I actually started realizing, oh wow, there's all these different steps to makeup. Like I just, I don't know. I never really thought much into it. I was like slap some eyeshadow on and head out the door. So uh, yeah, I didn't really use primer, but when I did use primer, the first one that I bought was actually from NYC and it was their Ultra Smooth Primer. I'll put a picture right up here. So yeah, that was the first primer I ever bought. Reason I bought it is because I think it was like $2 at Walmart, $3, I was on a budget. Even knowing I really wasn't on a budget, I feel like I was working a lot. Um, I was making decent money for myself, um, but I've always been the person where I am stick to my budget. I am, I'm really into couponing. If you guys don't know, I used to be like hardcore into couponing, um, but I've always been someone that just kind of like sticks with the budget and I wouldn't spend a lot on items for myself ever. Um, clothes, things like that, I always just budgeted. I don't know what happened to me, honestly, because now, <laughs> look at me now, spending $100 on a palette, but uh, yeah, I don't know what happened to me, but somewhere along the line, I got lost, um, but I used to be really good with budgeting my money, especially with makeup. So like I said, this was the primer that I used, didn't use it all the time, probably hardly ever used it. I had it in case I thought I needed it, but I feel like I never used it. Moving on to foundation. So. Here's my thing with foundation. I could never find my shade. I didn't know how to shade match. I just looked at the bottles at Target or Walmart or wherever I was and I was like, this one looks like it'll match. And I would bring it home and of course it wouldn't match. I would look crazy. So, good old me at the age of like 17 and 18 decided like it would be a good idea to just use bronzer. I went through this phase where I wore this bronzer from uh, Physicians Formula, it was like their booster bronzer or something like that, I can't even remember. I remember it, the packaging exactly, but I couldn't find a picture of it, but I'll post one of their butter bronzer here, or their booster bronzer right here. Um, but it was like an orange packaging, and it was a bronzer, but I used it as a powder foundation. Mind you, it was like at least, at least four shades too dark for me, like at, at least. And I was that girl that, uh, you know, walked around with literal cake face. Like, I would pat, I, I used the pat thing that came in it too, like the little thing that came with it and didn't have a brush. I would pat that stuff like all over my face. I would pat it everywhere so it would make me look tan. And I would walk around like that everywhere I went. And no one ever said anything to me. No one ever was like, hey girl, your face doesn't match your neck or uh, you don't match. No one ever said anything to me. I walked around looking like that. That's how my husband met me. I tease him about it all the time because he says, you know, that I wear more makeup now than like I used to. And I'm like, when you first met me, I'm pretty sure I wore my, like, yeah, it was bad. It was so bad. Um, so yeah, and I didn't bring it down my neck most of the time. So I would have like a stop right here and it would just be like tan. 
It was so, so bad, so bad. Um, so that's what I would use with my foundation. And then after I kind of realized and got out of that phase, um, I started using the BB cream from Garnier. I'll put a picture right here. I think I even might still have a bottle somewhere in my room. Um, I used that and I used that for quite a few years actually. Um, and I thought that was expensive. It was like $11 and I remember I would get it with a coupon or I would get it on sale and spend it for like $6 or something, but I still thought that was expensive. Like $11 for foundation was like, I'm not spending that. So I would wait until it got on sale and then I would literally buy like so many. Like I'm pretty sure at one point I had like 15 bottles of this stuff because I was like, it's on sale, I need to buy them all. Um, but yeah, that was what I wore for, for foundation every single day, which was just like a BB cream. Now I like things to be super full coverage, but I was not like that before, obviously. <laughs> I go through phases. Um, but yeah, that's what I wore as my foundation. So I never really wore a bronzer because I was wearing that as my foundation. Didn't know it was really what it was. So I didn't really wear a bronzer. Um, the next thing that I wore was a little bit of blush sometimes. I didn't even really very wear it very often. I wore those little CoverGirl blushes. I'll put a picture right here. Like the little tiny things, the little tiny brush that you could like barely even dip into. And I would use that. Um, I didn't use it all the time, like I said, but if I did use blush, that's what I used. Good old little CoverGirl blushes. I think they even still make those. Like I think if you go to Walmart, you can still find those, which is hilarious. So I didn't know highlighter existed honestly until I started watching YouTube. I didn't even know that was a thing until I started seeing people apply it. I, yeah, so I did not wear highlighter. The first highlighter that I ever purchased was the Balms Mary Luminizer. That was the very first one I ever got and honestly that was like two years ago now. Um, maybe three years ago. Whenever I started watching YouTube, I think it's been three years now. Um, that is when I bought that one. So I am 25 now, if you guys don't know, that's how old I am. So moving on to my brows. Ooh, the dreaded brows. I actually didn't start filling in my eyebrows until these last, really this last, like I would say year and a half or so. Um, and the first brow product I ever purchased was actually a dip brow from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Yes, that's what I started out with, which honestly, that is so intimidating. Like even right now, I struggle using the dip brow. Like pencils are so much easier for me. Um, brows is one of the thing that I, one of the things that I struggle the most with. Um, so why I decided to start with that, I'm not really sure. I thought that was what you did. Like when I got on Instagram and I was scrolling and everyone was using the dip brow, I was like, I need that. So I purchased one and that was when my whole little budgeting thing kind of went out the window and I spent $18 on a brow pomade and somehow was like, it's okay. And I think that was downhill. I think it was downhill ever since then. Um, but yeah, that was the first brow thing I ever bought. Uh, they were horrible. Honestly, I don't even know what I was thinking. I put them so close together. Um, I caked it on. They were so bad. Um, and people told me in my life too, they were like, girl, your brows. And I was just like, oh, they look great. Like, and now I cannot do my makeup without doing my eyebrows. So it's kind of funny how you get used to something. Um, and I know like when I first started doing them, I'm like, oh, this looks so weird. Like it took me a while to even leave the house with them. Like I would do them at home. And even when they looked crazy, like I shouldn't have left the house, I thought they looked good. So I would start little by little kind of leaving the house and then I was just like, I don't really care. I got to a point where I didn't really care and I would just go out full face, like looking crazy. Um, but yeah, that was my first brow product. Didn't wear them till, like I said, a couple years ago. So yeah, moving on to eyeshadow. So I have two different eyeshadow products that I used. So when I was in that whole phase where I wanted to be tan and Kardashian, like that was when the Kardashians started being like a thing and I used to watch them and they would always do like these dark smoky eyes. Like, you know, they would have like a really pretty dark smoky eye and I thought that was so cool. So I would use this palette right here. I can't believe I even found a picture of it because this has been like, what? I, yeah, a lot of years. Um, I would use this palette from uh, Ulta actually. I remember even getting it. It was like a $10 palette, which I thought was a lot of money. Um, and I remember uh, I had a coupon for, I think it was, they used to do coupons for uh, $350 off like $10 or whatever. 
So I remember getting it and thinking, okay, like that's not so bad. $7 for a palette isn't as bad. So I remember uh, getting that palette and I used the heck out of that thing. And it took me so long to get rid of it because I used it forever. Um, and it was like a bigger palette and it had a bunch of different colors in it. And I would use just that little chunk, like you guys can see, that little chunk where it has like the black, the gray, and I think there's like a bluish gray. That was the one I used the most. That one I hit pan on, like I remember I would dig in and just like literally pat that all over my eye and I would leave and that would be how I look. So I'd be perfectly tan, literally all I would do. Perfectly tan, pat that on my eyes, and then I would put on some mascara, I'll talk about which one in a second, and I would leave the house thinking I looked amazing, like just like the Kardashians. The other eyeshadow things that I used is actually those little uh, strip um, eyeshadows from a Physicians Formula. I used those a bunch. I had so many different ones of those and that was another thing I kind of had to force myself to buy because I think they were like $11.99 or something like that for the little um, palettes. So I had a bunch of those. I had like the one for blue because it used to come for eyes. I think they still make them actually. Um, but there was like one for blue eyes, one for hazel eyes, one for green eyes and I would buy them all and I was just like I don't care whose eye it's for. Like I'm gonna wear it. So I would always wear like bright blue um, I still love blues, obviously I had that on today, but I would use the pop, I think it was called the pop palette or the bright palette or something like that, and it had like this really bright blue in there, and I would put that all over my eyes, and that was like my favorite thing. So if I didn't have the dark smoky eye, I had like bright blue on. That was my style. For mascara, I used the good old Great Lash from Maybelline. I still have a few bottles of this um, that I haven't even actually opened. I don't think I, this is even opened yet. But uh, yeah, this is the mascara that I used all the time. Honestly, now I can't even really use it. I feel like there's so many other mascaras that I love so much more. But I know that this has like, been like in, a staple to everyone in their mascara collection for so long. Um, but this is the one that I used, the Great Lash from Maybelline. And I would just put a little of this on and head out the door. A little bit later in my life, the mascara that I got super into was that Falsies mascara as well from Maybelline. I had a bunch of those. Um, I think it came in like a pink purple bottle. Um, I really liked that one. I thought it made my lashes so long and I loved using that mascara. For lips, I really didn't actually like wearing lipstick. Um, I always felt weird in it. Um, I felt like I couldn't really wear uh, lipstick per se. I always felt awkward. Like I always felt like if I had a lip on, everyone was staring at me. Um, it was really hard for me to actually wear lipstick. And even when I got into makeup, I would do like my full face and I would have lipstick on and take my pictures and do whatever. And then I would take it off because I felt so self-conscious with lipstick on. Which is so funny because now I'm the opposite. Like if I have full makeup on like, and I don't have a lip on, I think I look crazy and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to put a lip on. So it's kind of funny how your mind will like alter. Um, but yeah, I didn't really wear lipsticks. If I did, I had a few from um, NYC, like their little dollar lipsticks. I had quite a few colors, but like I said, I barely ever wore them. And then as far as setting spray, I didn't really know that existed either. Um, Contour, anything like that, I didn't know existed. I remember the first contour, the first video I ever watched of contouring was from Lester Lux, and she was talking about how she uses like a Maybelline, um, what was it, their Fit Me foundation stick. She was saying that you could get a foundation stick that was a couple shades darker than your skin and you could contour with that. So I remember I bought one of those and I attempted to contour my face and I just couldn't figure it out. It looked crazy, it looked muddy, and I, yeah, I tried so hard. I tried over and over and over again. I'm like, I need to learn how. Um, but it took me a long time to kind of figure out what I was doing wrong. Um, but I just really wasn't blending it out. So that's kind of what happened. Um, but yeah, I wasn't really into contour too much or anything like that. That was all really um, the last few years. So those were my first ever makeup products that I purchased, products that I loved, products that I thought were amazing. I would love to hear in the comment section down below what some of your guys' favorites, products that you first purchased when you first started wearing makeup, or products that you're still loving that you have purchased a long time ago that are still in your collection today. Um, yeah, I would love to hear it down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.